Hello guys, how's it going and welcome to something a little bit different. Today we're going to start looking at the Universal Electricity Pack, which is being run by the Feed the Beast launcher. You might also know this one as Volts if you're playing it on the Technics Pack. So, what is this uh, new weird thing? Well, basically, Universal Electricity is what's called an API. Now, an API is kind of the building blocks for a new modding system. So, they also call it a modular coding framework. So, for instance, Industrial Craft, Build Craft, they all have their own type of power. So, you either have the EU, uh, you have Michael Jackson's, MJ's, or you have different types of things, obviously, uh, depending on the mod that you're using. Now, Universal Electricity has its own type called UE. So, it kind of sounds a little bit like EU, but it's not, it's UE. And Universal Electric runs on what's called kilojoules. Now, what they've done with this is they've made <clears throat> a base kind of mod that introduces this new type of power allowing modders to then create different mods around this expanding the universal electricity universe if you will now at the minute there's only about seven or eight mods that are available for it which are all put into this pack here but we're just going to go ahead and uh, kick some ass and just see how this all runs so i'm sure it's going to go really cool and i've had a look into it a little bit you know i think it's going to be fun so let's have a look at the mods to start off with so at the minute i have obviously optifine running because i'm using sfax uh, we have Minecraft Coder Pack, Forge Mod, Minecraft Forge, Code Chicken Core, all the regulars, not enough items. Now we have Basic Components, Assembly Line, Atomic Science, Blast Craft, Electric Expansion, ICBM, Inventory Tweaks, Machine Muse Modular Power, Mechanism, Mechanism Generators, Mechanism Tools, uh, Modular Force Field Systems, and the regular Railcraft. You will see during this that Railcraft does kind of play a kind of big part in the actual pack itself, and it adds a few items which you can use with the Universal Electric System. So let's go ahead and uh, create a new world. So I'm going to call, what should we call this one? Uh, I'm going to go with, it's all about, what have we got? We've got, we got electric we've got missiles and stuff because it's got all that cool stuff in it. So, uh, I just call it missile. That's pretty. Sounds really cool, doesn't it? We do survival. Uh, we want structures on. We want default world. Bonus chest off. Cheats off. Such and such. And uh, yeah, looking good. All right, let's uh, create this new marvelous world and see what it looks like. Now, being that I am using the feed the beast launcher and I have my specs high, uh, it's probably going to have a moment. So I'm just going to cut now and we'll be right back in the world. Okay, here we are inside Universal Electric. Now you can see there may be a few updates available and uh, they will be implemented very very soon but for the time being the reason they haven't been implemented is purely because a lot of the stuff in this is very beta and alpha-ish and it sometimes doesn't kind of work together. There's a few little bits and bobs that are a bit buggy so they leave it out for the time being until something new happens and then once they've got all that stuff fixed and kind of ironed out they'll be put into the pack and I'll be showing you all about it. So the first thing you want to do is the basic Minecraft stuff. You want to go around and uh, do your mining and all those bits and bobs. I'm just going to quickly switch myself to creative here and just show you some of the cool stuff that we've got. So you've got all the regular bits and bobs here. Now we also have electric expansion, which is all these cool thing and bobs here. We have the ICBM, which you might know, which is all the rockets and stuff, which has been quite a popular mod. We have mechanism, which is all to do with electronic expansion and uh, universal electric. And we have the regular universal electric here which are the basic components now the universal electric itself adds these items in as basic components these is kind of the starting ground of what you'll be using it adds in a coal generator battery box and a furnace just the basic bits and bobs well gen wise it adds in tin ore and copper and there is steel that you can get as well uh, this is a good thing to do with railcraft as well because you have the blast furnace then you can go creating the steel there is another way of creating steel in this as well which i will show you but yeah pretty cool we have a sem assembly line to make all our cooler big mechanical factories and whatnot. Atomic science, which adds in fusion reactors, fission reactors, and uh, we can make uh, hydrogen colliders and all that cool stuff. Blast craft, so we don't blow ourselves up. Modular force field system, which some of you might know from uh, Techit, except this time it's kind of changed around a little bit. And MMMP power suits, which has just been added to Techit Light. So if you haven't seen that, go and check it out. It's pretty cool, we will be covering it as well. Uh, it's a kind of like the quantum armor, but it's uh, very modular on the bits and bobs that you can add. Ooh. All right, let's go back to regular. All right, guys, I'm going to go do some mining because I'm sure you don't want to see me mine. And I'll be right back and we'll create a base and get some basic bits and bobs going. See you in a bit. All right, you guys, so I've done a bit of mining and now we're back in the uh, 
nice desert where I've decided to call home. So I've made a really nice little bed here. We've got a, a few bits that I've mined away just down here. You can see it's looking pretty cool. We've got some uranium, we've got some silver, a little bit of tin, some platinum, which is pretty cool. Loads of redstone, and you're going to see why we need the redstone very soon, and some leather, which plays a big part for wiring. We also have sulfur and saltpeter, which we won't really get into later. Uh, that includes the uranium ore as well. Now, I'm going to build a little base here, I think. It's probably the best way to do it. And we're going to go with something very simple to kind of start ourselves off. So I'm thinking we're just going to kind of build something nice and easy. Yeah, it's probably the best bet. Oh, breaking my legs. And we're just going to go along here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. Now, if any of you guys have uh, watched uh, Die Wolf 20, he is a uh, very, very big... Uh, I take a lot of influence from the stuff that he does. I think he's really good. And if you've ever heard of his 9x9, well, that is exactly what we're going to be creating right now. Because a 9x9 is the perfect way, uh, or kind of house, to kind of get yourself started. And it just makes sense, you know. Here we go. Looking good already. So I'm going to finish this up. And we'll be back in a momento. I'm just going to double check on my glass that I've been making. Yeah, we're pretty much done. Alright guys, back in two seconds. Alright guys, so I'm all moved in. We're in a very nice 9x9 here. And like I said, I'm going to give all my gratitude to the amazing Direwolf20 for this one. If you don't know who he is, go check him out. He's really cool. He's like the god of technical gizmo. So uh, yeah, he's really, really good. Now, I've made a very nice couple of furnaces here. And we're just smelting up a few bits. We've got some platinum ingot on the go. And we have some iron ingots on the go. And just to show in here, we have a few other bits that we're soon going to be using. Now, really, while I've been mining, I completely forgot there's one tool. is the first tool that you really want to be making. So I'm just going to quickly show you this one so you know kind of what to do in the future. So you're going to need yourself some sticks firstly and I'm pretty sure I have some of these in my random box. Here we go. And we're going to need ourselves. So we need a stone pickaxe, we need a stone shovel and we're also going to need ourselves a uh, another stone item which is going to be a stone axe. There we go, one stone axe. Now if you put two sticks like this and I'm going to guess it now because I can never remember which way around it is. Is it this way? Yeah. We get ourselves a stone paxel. Now a stone paxel has all the attributes of the shovel, the pickaxe and the axe all in one. Very nice. And this is added thanks to the mechanism mod. Now if we go around here and look at paxel, you'll see there's lots of different types. We have bronze, platinum, obsidian, glowstone, lapis. And you're probably saying to yourself, how do you get lapis and glowstone? Well, there is a way of doing that by making ingots out of the actual glowstone and lapis, which is pretty cool. You can also have wood, stone, and your regular iron, diamonds, gold, and uh, steel. So yeah, good times. I'm going to make one of those. You know, it will probably come useful at some point. Now, the first machine you really want to be making is something to produce steel. Now, in previous releases of this, you could just go ahead and put coal in the diamond shape around iron, or uh, I'm pretty sure it's iron, and you'd be able to get yourself some uh, steel dust, pretty much. Now, it's kind of changed in this that you uh, either have two ways of getting steel. Now, the first one is the one we're going to do is to make a metallurgic infuser. Or you could make your way to the nether using industrial craft by making, by making a blast furnace. And to be honest, I'm not really up for going to the nether just yet. A little bit early for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a metallurgic infuser. So if I show you down here what the metallurgic infuser looks just like is one of these guys here. Now this is also added thanks to the mechanism mod which is used by the Universal Electric. So we need control circuits, enriched alloys, furnaces and iron. So this is why I'm smelting up the iron. The control circuits are used with platinum and enriched alloy and enriched alloy is made with iron ingots and redstone. So let's go ahead and make some of those first. Our platinum is pretty much done and our iron is on the way. So I'm not going to use too much of this because eventually we're going to be smelting into dusts. But we are going to get our redstone and start making some of these guys so I'm pretty sure I needed three or four so we're just gonna go ahead and make four of these you know it's uh, at least we'll have some spare for next time there we go four of these bad boys so that's that one there now we've got our enriched alloys we just go ahead and make some more of these circuits now if we have a look at how many we need we need two to make the circuits so we put these guys like this we're gonna go ahead and grab our platinum and make some of these so where is our platinum? There you are. 
There we go. Some control circuits. Very nice. Now we've got that, we should be able to go ahead and actually make the final product. Yeah, looking good. Well, we need two furnaces, so let's make another two furnaces first. There we go. A couple of furnaces. Cool beams. And now we can make one of these guys. So, two furnaces, just like this. A rich alloy like that. Two of the control circuits. And some iron. Very nice. Giving us one metallurgic infuser. And we're just going to pop this guy here. There we go. Looks pretty cool. Now, if you look at the interface, you'll probably think, oh my god, I do not understand what is going on here. Well, it's really, really simple. The metallurgic infuser, as it goes to the minute, can only be used to make two things, really. Steel is one of them, and you can make bronze ingots via this as well. Steel is really the re main reason you're going to be using it to kind of start yourself off, unless you do really go and get yourself magma creams and all that other stuff from the, from the, uh, from the nether, which really, I'd say, is a bit of a waste, to be honest. So, to use this, normally you're going to have to power it using uh, Universal Electric, using the kilojoules. Now, there is another way of doing this, which means we're going to need to make ourselves a uh, few bits and bobs first. Now, if I show you steel down in here, uh, and we want steel dust, it shows here in the metallurgic infuser that we need to put enriched iron and compressed carbon in here and that will go through and make steel dusts. Now it needs power as well and obviously we haven't got a power source in the minute but luckily this guy can run off redstone so that's why I had a ton of redstone in the first place so we can actually go ahead and get this self powered until we have a way of actually generating power by itself. Now the enriched iron is made with iron ingots and two enriched alloys around it giving us six enriched iron or you could use iron ingots and copper dust but at the minute we don't have any dust so looks like we're just gonna have to go with the enriched alloys now if we also look at the car compressed carbon this guy is very simple it's just coal put into a furnace and we'll get some compressed carbon so let's go ahead and mix this up a little bit and I'm gonna throw these guys in here and that's gonna go ahead and make some compressed carbon now we do need a few more enriched alloys as well so that we can make this guy and we need those to be able to make the uh, to make the other bits and bobs that we're going to need so let's go and make some more enriched alloys first and we're probably going to need a few of these so I'm just going to go ahead and make say let's go with six six sounds like a pretty round number I think there we go cool beans so now we've got these, we need to put a bit of iron in the middle, and that's going to go ahead and make six enriched iron. Should have really made one more, I guess. Oh well. There we go. 18. Tons of the stuff. This is smelling up nicely, giving us four. Let's uh, wait for one more of these little guys to drop out the bottom. There we go. Five. <clears throat> Now, you can see on the left-hand side, we have this bar here. When we drop one of the compressed carbon in there, you can see it's going to swallow it up, <coughs> excuse me, and it has its own internal buffer. So when you put one in, it eats it up and puts it in here. So we're going to throw the whole lot in. You see it's going to, going to suck it all up like this, and we're just going to leave this going because we want quite a lot of compressed carbon to make all the steel that we're going to need. So I'm just going to keep doing this and throwing it all in there. Now, if we throw redstone in the right-hand side, you're going to see it's going to suck it all up and use that to create a power storage inside. Now, for different things, like I said about the bronze ingots, you do actually need to use a different type of source block, not the compressed carbon. So if you was to get rid of the compressed carbon, you're probably thinking, well, how do I get rid of it without using it up? Well, quite simply, you just push the dump button here, and it will get rid of all of this in here. A bit of a waste, but if you don't need it, you don't need it, you dump it. Cool. Now, if we go and put the enriched iron in here, you're going to see that firstly, it's very loud, <laughs> and then it's going to go ahead and make us some steel. Very nice. So let's just keep this going. There we go, very nice, loads in there. And I think what I'm going to do is just throw the rest in there. It does use it pretty quick, so this is the reason that we went and got ourselves loads of redstone to kind of start ourselves off. It's the best way of doing it, you know? And look at this really cool block, look at all the things glowing on it and the light shining. Kind of looks like a little robot man, pretty cool, pretty cool. So with the steel dust once we've got this, we can go ahead and throw that in a furnace. Now, I'm going to grab myself a little bit more coal. I'm pretty sure we have some more. Yep. And we're just going to share this out in here. Put our uh, steel dust in here. And that's going to go ahead, smelt up, and make us some steel. Very nice. Let's keep grabbing this stuff and making our steel. Once we've got enough steel, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to make our first way of producing energy. So the basic way of doing it is to make a coal generator 
and this is one of the basic components of the Universal Electricity mod pack, this guy just here. So to do this we need bronze, we need a furnace, we need steel plates and we need copper wires and a motor. So to get yourself started it is quite a bit but it's fine, you know? So bronze ingots are made a couple of ways, you can use the metallurgic infuser by putting tin dust and copper ingots in there, or you can use the shape crafting of this. So there is a uh, couple of ways of doing it. Alrighty guys, I'm going to let this do all its smelting stuff and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so before we go ahead and make a coal generator, there's going to be one more thing that we're going to need to make first before we can actually do anything. Bear in mind we need bronze, and bronze in this is created in a different way from the regular IC2 or anything like that. So to make bronze ingots, we are going to need to use a metallurgic infuser, which we just had, but we're also going to make tin dust. Now we have no way of making tin dust at the minute unless we get ourselves an enrichment chamber. Now enrichment chambers can also run off redstone, very costly. So remember you need tons and tons of redstone before you can do anything but once you have an enrichment chamber and this is all set up you then get a coal generator and then life becomes a little bit more easy. So let's go ahead and make a enrichment chamber. So let's look down here and check it out. For an enrichment chamber we're going to need all of this stuff here. Now bear in mind each one of these has an enriched alloy in it. An enriched alloy is iron with redstone around it. So we need one, two, three, four, five. We're going to need six of these guys. So let's go ahead and make some more of those first. So we need some more redstone which I have just here. Okay, very low on the redstone. And we already have one here so we need another five. So let's make five of these guys. There we go. Very nice. Now we needed two of the uh, circuits, which are made just like this. There we go. Control circuits. Very nice. And we needed one more. There we go. Cool beans. So there is that. Now we need a block of steel. So we've got a nice bit of steel in here somewhere. There you are. Let's go ahead and make a block of steel. There we go. And we're pretty much set up with a little bit of redstone. So, alright, let's go ahead and make one of these guys. So, block of steel in the middle, two redstone, just like this. Control circuits on the sides, and your enriched alloys around here, giving us a enrichment chamber. Cool beans. I'm going to place this guy right next to here, and here we go. This is the interface for it. So, normally this would be powered via electric, but at the minute we're just going to use redstone. I don't want to go using too much. Uh, it, it kind of doesn't use as much as the uh, as the metallurgic infuser, but it still uses quite a bit. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to crush up some ores and make some dusts. Now we have uh, a furnace here which I've made some copper ingots from. Now we're going to get the rest of the copper which I have on me and hopefully make some copper dust. And all the machines in this seem to be very loud, so make sure you turn down your uh, volume if you're going to be recording, like I am. If not, uh, just uh, make sure it's uh, kind of turned down a little bit. There we go, so there's that. Drop a few more in here. As you can see on the side here, the power level or the internal buffer is going down fairly quickly. It seems to be kind of one redstone per transaction. Let's just watch. Pretty sure. But we're getting two copper dust from it, which is quite nice. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we're going to take our copper dust. Now we need a few other bits before we can do anything. We need some tin, which I'm pretty sure I have around here somewhere. A bit of tin. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're just going to throw this in here and cook up a little bit of tin. And this is going to be used to make our bronze. There we go. I'm going to take one more. Oh, perfect amount. Good times. <laughs> just wait for this one to cook up. This guy's pretty much already done. Now I am going to have to take this out and we don't need this so I'm going to dump this guy unfortunately and we're going to take the rest of this stuff and we're going to take our tin just like this very nice. Now I'm pretty sure we can put our tin in one of these guys to make this work. Let's just double check unless it's a different ingot. Might be a different ingot. Bronze ingots. Here we go. So tin dust and copper ingots. So tin dust and copper ingots. So let's have a gander. So we've got a copper. We need tin dust. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can make some tin dust. Now, oh, which you need the uh, tin blocks, don't we? There we go. Cool beans. 
cool beans. Alright guys, I'm going to let this smelt up and I'll be back in two seconds. So our tin dust is all done, here we go, nice bit of tin. And we've got some copper that I previously smelted just up here. So let's go ahead and make some of this stuff. So we can put our tin dust in here just like this and our copper. And that's going to go ahead and make us some bronze. Very nice. Now the chances are we probably are going to need a little bit more tin. So I'm just going to let this guy do its stuff just like that. Maybe a little bit more redstone. This guy's working hard as well, he might need a little bit more. There we go. Very nice. And we're getting some bronze. Now we do need a coal generator so we can start producing energy. And to do this we need three bronze ingots like this. We're also going to need some more steel and some copper wiring. So for this we only need one copper wire, just like this, and once you have your copper wire, you can then put it in here and make the kind of this kind of copper wire, a bit weird. And to do this you need leather and copper ingots. So I've got one here. We only need one more of these guys, so I'm going to let this finish up and I'll use the rest of this to make some wiring. And here we go, very nice. Cool, tons of the stuff. So let's go ahead and make a little bit of wiring. And I'm pretty sure I had some leather from killing all the old mobs while I was doing my stuff. And we're just gonna put our copper wire like this with a little bit of uh, leather. Kapow, and we get six. Put that one here, we get the copper wire. Kind of like the wound one. Now, what else do we need? So we've made that guy. We have our bronze, we need two furnaces. So let's go ahead and make a few more furnaces. So many furnaces. There we go, a couple of furnaces, good times. And now we need steel plates and a motor. The motor is made with an iron ingot, steel ingots, and these around the side. So we're going to need another four of these guys. So let's make another four of these. There we go. Very nice. And that is looking pretty good. Steel, iron, good times. How much steel have we got left? We have iron. We've got enough, I think. Enough. So let's go ahead and make one of these guys first. So iron in the middle, just like this, with our steel around the sides, like that. And some of these copper wires. Very nice. One mower. Now we are going to need a little bit more steel to probably do the rest because we're going to need steel plates, which is four in each. And at the minute I only have enough to make one. So I'm going to go and make one more lot of steel and I'll be right back and we'll craft this guy up. So we now have enough steel to go ahead and make our coal generator. I'm just going to make one more plate just here. Very nice. That's two steel plates. And the recipe itself looks something like this with the furnaces and the copper wires. I did go ahead and make a couple more furnaces just in the meantime. Now we're going to go ahead and do this like that. We're going to put a motor just here with the two steel plates, our bronze along the bottom, and a copper wire just up here giving us the coal generator. Now this guy is really cool. We're going to pop him just here. And this is the first real way you're going to be producing any type of energy. Now obviously what you're going to do is you're going to put in your coal. That's going to produce energy. At the minute it says it's not generating any energy because there's nothing in there to generate. It also will not generate any energy unless it is plugged into a device that can accept the energy or store the energy. If we went around to the back here, I'm just going to knock away here. You're going to see we've got a black output here. Now this is where you'd plug something in to come out. Evidently it's a output. Now the black stands for this on all of the universal electricity type of blocks. If it's a red one then that is the input. So if we made something that would store the energy it would have a red and a black output. So the red to accept the energy, the black to send out the energy. Makes sense. I'm just going to go ahead and fill this back in in case some creeper comes and uh, tries to blow up all my machinery. <laughs> Now the voltage that it can handle is 120, it can put out a maximum of 10 kilowatts at a time which is quite a bit compared to some of the other ways of producing energy in this. There are ways of obviously making free energy like solar panels, you can also make a way of uh, heat generation which is a very low amount of energy generation but it's free generation compared to the solar panels which will produce more but they obviously can't run during the night so yeah kind of uh, halfway so there. So there we go, a way of producing energy. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and look at how to store and use this energy that we create and how to manipulate it in certain machines so that we don't have to keep using redstone for everything because I'm very, very low on redstone. I have 10 there. I've got nothing in here, I don't think. Nope, nothing at all. And we're almost out of steel and whatnot. So I think I'm going to go mining, guys, have a little sleepies, and then we'll be back for the next episode and we'll get some more universal electricity on the way. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.